Hello, I am Kristen and welcome to my channel. I am here healing my body and mind through nutrition and exercise. So let's dive in first. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, follow along and comment, comment, comment. So <sighs> carnivore, 100 days, a little over two weeks going more animal based, reintroducing fruits, finding out that I had an allergy to pineapple or at least that's what i call it because i got triggered with not only inflammation but anxiety really bad and so went back full carnivore and have just slowly added like avocado again and i tried mango and so kind of just playing with it and still learning my body learning what works for me what doesn't if i can even have fruit at all if i can't what what is going on right so this past weekend I had my mom made chicharro and I love chicharro so much and I said okay if you make it I'm gonna have a little bit and with no rice just a chicharro I ate it it was delicious and I don't know if it's mental if it was just in my brain because I know that probably what's in the chicharro I shouldn't be eating or whatnot. And that's that they didn't season it as much. She did it a little bit more simple this time. I think my sister helped her with it. Um, I got anxiety like really fast, which usually does not happen anytime I'm triggered with food. It seems to be a day after and then lasting two, up to two days. And I got it right away. So that kind of bothered me. And I don't know if it was because it was mental. It was just in my head about eating chicharro and probably not, you know, shouldn't be eating this and whatnot. Or if it really did trigger it. So I might have to try it again. I don't know. But very, very notable. Like, let's write it down, right? Um, what was the other thing? This weekend, we had a little barbecue with the family. We were celebrating that my son passed third grade. If you have had a child in third grade or currently have a child in third grade, I don't know how it is where you are, but we have a testing that they need to pass and it's a very, very stressful year. We have had a tutor. We are constantly on top of him with homework. It's very difficult and so he passed. <laughs> and that's a super exciting moment and so we decided to do a little surprise barbecue, just kind of like a little celebration of him passing and to also thank the abuelas and everybody in our family who helped us with the kids. So we had a barbecue and my husband smoked a pulled pork. His pulled pork is absolutely delicious. You can go check it out on CarreraBarbecue.com. No, what am I talking about? We don't have a website. <laughs> Instagram, uh, Carrera, at Carrera Barbecue. I'll put it down in the description. Um, maybe I should create a website. So anyways, I had very, very little pulled pork because when I started the carnivore diet, I realized that eating a lot of pork was causing me to be really, really nauseous. So I had very little pulled pork and we made burgers and beef hot dogs that we get from Wild Fork, which is really, really good and bratwurst. So I only had half a bratwurst. Actually, I ended up having a whole bratwurst because I ate another half later. <laughs> I take that back. But usually I do good with bratwurst. So I don't know if it was because I had the bratwurst, which is pork, and then I had a little bit of pulled pork, but fast forward to the nighttime and sure enough, I was feeling nauseous. So I just think it's the pork. I don't know if it's the seasoning that he does for the pulled pork. He does use Lori's salt, seasoned salt, which does have a little sugar. And he also used um, another pork butt rub kind of seasoning that is actually pretty good. It does not have any sugar or anything, but we were low on that. So he did a mix of both. Um, very frustrating because his pulled pork is really, really good. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, um, I laugh at my own jokes. And so again, I don't know. I don't know if it was the pulled pork or what it was, but frustrating again, like I said, because one pulled pork is economical to cook when you have a big family and when you are barbecuing and we have a smoker so it's delicious but it is what it is burgers came out amazing the hot dog the beef hot dogs are amazing so i was fine with just eating that but i did want to try a little bit of the pulled pork and i did get some of that nauseousness so next morning okay i had a little bit of inflammation and it was hurting me here Today I feel a lot better. 
So again, was it the pulled pork with the whole nausea? Does that cause inflammation? <laughs> I don't know. I almost want to give up. I didn't have any fruit. We had fruit for for our guests. Um, we had a charcuterie board. I had, I did have the charcuterie, um, but I've had the charcuterie in the past and have been fine. So I really don't think it's that. And again, it's just a learning curve, learning what works, what doesn't. Um, I already knew that I probably did have this weird reaction to pork which I've never had in the past or at least I felt like I didn't um and again I don't know if it's the fully the pork or the seasoning so it might be something that I have to play with I think he's gonna have to do another pulled pork but with a different seasoning and and see if it's you know what what is causing that so we shall see that is my update from the weekend and I hope that you had a beautiful weekend and I hope that your week is going good. I would love to hear where you are on your journey. Are you new here to my channel? Say hi in the comments. And where are you? Are you trying to look to start carnivore? Have you started carnivore? Are you thinking about starting carnivore? There are so many good benefits about starting carnivore. It is at the very least a great elimination diet. I talk about it in my other videos. I also like to remind you that I am not a doctor nor a nutritionist, and I know that I am not. I am not giving advice here. This channel is solely based on my journey, my journey alone, and just sharing my experience on what has worked for me, what has not worked for me, and maybe something kind of clicks and relates to your journey. Um, you know, there's no one size fits all in any diet, and every body is different. So take that in mind. Remember to give your body grace. We have been eating like crap for years and it takes a very long time for our bodies to just kind of detox and start to heal itself. So that's where I am right now. And I will see you again tomorrow, tomorrow.